I uh, chose pneumonia. Basic information. It's, uh, it's a general infection of the lungs. It causes um, inflammation of it. And really what the most common symptom is, is or not symptom, uh, the most common part is, is your little air sacs called um, the alveoli. They fill with fluid from a, pro from a chemical process that happens because of the bacteria or the virus or the um, fungus, whatever type of pneumonia you contract that happens. So that's the most common is, uh, is the liquid buildup in the lungs. Um, and it's, uh, it's a fairly common disease. Most of you guys have heard about it. Uh, it's got many different forms. And that's about it for basic information. Um, history. Uh, pneumonia is a, well, has a long history. It goes back to around 400 BC, probably further back than that. But when it was first documented, somebody saying something about it was uh, uh, Hippocrates. He said something about uh, like crackling, wheezing in the lungs, as well as like hearing fluid, like when basic medical techniques were starting to come around, you know, like we like a stethoscope and they were, to, they were able to hear it in the lungs. And uh, so it's, it's, been, it's been a long time in the human race. And uh, it's been around so long, I mean, like it wasn't ever officially discovered, no one ever been credited with the official discovery of pneumonia. Different types. Um, there is no specific bacterial or viral um, form of pneumonia. It's actually kind of a, a general term. Pneumonia can be really referred to the actual inflammation of the lungs, so any sort of type of fungal or the bacterial infection that actually causes the irritation, the inflammation, the, the buildup of the liquid can be coined as pneumonia. Um, bacterial and viral are the most common with um, uh, Streptococcus pneumoniae with the most common <laughs> bacteria and it causes over 50% of the cases. And that's probably, if you guys have ever had pneumonia, that's probably the one that you've contracted. Um, the more reason that the fungal and the parasitic aren't uh, contracted is that the fungal spores in both the parasites are larger kind of organisms uh, and they're not as easily transferable human to human because it's uh, mostly contact contracted through the air. It can be transmitted by, you know, like a sneeze or coughing or something like that, just like a common cold. Uh, this is a picture. This is a uh, you know a normal lung over there, and kind of goes out, and the air sacs on the ends of these branching tubes, and it builds up liquid and stuff, and that's what happens, and that's why you have like shortness of breath is because the liquid that comes from that chemical process actually fills up, or the oxygen would come in and would be put into the bloodstream, and you really can't get take a full breath because of the fact that you can't take in all of the oxygen or all of the uh, air that you take in. Uh, symptoms, most of you guys know. It general would be cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, uh, fatigue, and then common symptoms of sicknesses or fever and headache. Um, in certain cases of pneumonia, you can get nausea and vomiting and chills and cleanliness and looseness, looseness of the skin, but most of the time it's these top few, the cough and the chest pain. Um, epidemiology. Unlike oh, some diseases, uh, pneumonia isn't sort of restrictive or kind of has more likelihood to go to some sort of like a culture or specific race like uh, Asian or African American versus like that. It's, um, it doesn't have any sort of specification towards a race. Um, it, uh, it can be contracted by anyone, but most likely just because of the fact that they have maybe a weakened immune system. Uh, children young age, under five, elderly, and people with like a lower immune system such as HIV or AIDS um, contract pneumonia more frequently. Uh, just a few statistics. Um, pneumonia is contracted around 150 million times, uh, causes 4 million deaths. It uh, used to be the leading cause of death in the world, causing around 30% of all those known deaths in around 1918. Um, and it still is one of the uh, most well-known uh, diseases that can actually cause death. Uh, most of the time when pneumonia causes death, it is from the person having a lowered immune system, but there are cases where pneumonia is the direct cause of death and even a normal healthy person can die. But uh, most of the time it is from someone with AIDS or HIV and that's what actually kills them. And uh, yeah, now there's only around 4 million deaths and uh, a lot of people contracted, but most of the deaths are either with the people that have the immune system or in like Africa who can't get the proper treatment. Um, treatment 
antibiotic and antiviral medications are common. Um, there's this uh, scale. What they use is if you have a certain level of either um, of your oxygen saturation, if your blood is low enough, or you're not allowed to take a breath, or you have a high enough fever, or you're fatigued, it kind of is like a point scale. Like if you have one to two points on the scale, normally you can treat the um, case at home. If you have three to four, normally a minor visit to the doctor, the hospital is recommended. Where you have five or above, hospitalization is recommended. Um, but a lot of the times, you can normally treat it at home with just regular pain meds and rest and relaxation and a lot of fluids. Um, but sometimes minor, uh, minor hospitalization or just visiting the doctor is necessary. And that's about it.